guest tonight is a very funny comedian who is currently on his What Now comedy tour. The tour will go international beginning in January. His new film, Ride Along 2, will also be out in January. Please welcome Kevin Hart! <laughs> I brought, you, uh, I brought you a gift, man. Oh, you brought me a gift? Yes, man. I'm a classy guy. This is oh, your first show. Kick I, it off with a bang. Do I open this up now? Open it up. It's oh. a nice gift. Open it. I don't know. Let's It's a see, nice uh, gift. No one's ever brought me a gift, you know? Well, open it up. Rip it up. First, uh... Stop opening it like you're not from the States. Is it paper? Rip is it? it. What, what is this? Rip it open, man. Yeah, there you go. Are these ties? Those are ties, man. Yeah. 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 Got you some ties. I thought you were wearing a lot of suits. You need some ties. I got you ties. Yeah. That's a thoughtful gift. I thought it was real good. I expected a, a bigger reaction. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I thought you would give me a lot more than what you gave. It's OK. I... Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, well, I, I kind of, you know, whatever. I thought you was going to dance or something. It's all right. You know, it's yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, man. Thank, Thank you, man. You. Thank this you for is, having me. This is exciting, man. This is... You know what's weird for me is... I mean, I, I fell in love with Real Husbands of Hollywood. Oh, right? thank you, man. Thank you. And then... And then, I like, now it's like, are, are you still a Mitch? Am I still a Mitch? Uh, for those people who don't know, Mitch is a, is a male term for a bitch. Um, <laughs> I, I, just, I didn't know if you guys knew it or not. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course I am, man. I, I have a lot of uh, Mitch ways that are still with me that I don't plan on getting rid of anytime soon. So, yes, uh, I am very much a male bitch. Yes, me. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I love how you own that. I don't, yes. I don't know if that's true anymore. I honestly don't know if that's true. You're a comedic rock star now. That's exactly you. what you are. I see you on Instagram. You're doing, you're doing crazy push-ups. Yeah. You're doing... You, you, you all ripped up. Yeah, you're my body looks star. amazing. Yeah, looks your body amazing. looks amazing. Right. Your body yeah. looks amazing. <laughs> and you're an action star right along. I was, that was the first time I saw you hyping that, but I didn't know you would actually become an action an star. An action star, yes. Uh, I'm a firm believer in I can do whatever I put my mind to. You know, uh, I think... Comedy is something that opened up a lot of doors, and those doors that I chose to walk through were joy, were joyous. I was like, oh my god, I get to go into action movies. Oh my god, I get to do comedy. I get to work in drama. I but get the to height, produce. the height thing was always my concern. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, height, height is a perception. It's what you think it is. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. You know. I don't, I don't ever believe it. I, I, somebody actually told me one day, they was like, man, you're a lot smaller than I thought you was. And I was like, well, that means that you're thinking wrong. You know? <laughs> that's not me. That's not my problem. That's your problem. Oh, man. And it's, it's not a problem, because now you're going all over the world, man. The What Damn. Now tour. I mean, that was insane. Just comic to comic now. Yes. Performing in front of, what was it, 54,000 people? 53,000 53, people. I sold out a football stadium in Philadelphia, the first comedian to ever do it. <laughs> Thank you. How Thank do you... you? How do you how do you tell a joke? Because I've I've performed to fifty three people before, and I I don't know, like no, but how do you how do you tell a joke in a crowd that big? You know what it is, man. I mean, it's the same that you're doing today. I think any environment that you put yourself in as a comedian is your job to make that environment as intimate as possible. Uh, I'm a storyteller. I paint pictures. When you look at these pictures and you grasp what I'm saying, you find yourself relating to them. So regardless if it's an audience of five thousand, ten thousand, or fifty three thousand, my message is still the same. I think that's what makes me unique. Let's just stop for a second and. Address how well spoken that thing was. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I was about to say. That sounded. That sounded like that a motivational no, speech. That was, that, that was like was, a. Kevin Hart running it. for president. That's what that sounded like. As and I was this saying, is, I was like, wow. Nice. I was like, wow. This is really going good. Yeah. I didn't, that was. Uh, <laughs> that was nice. That was nice. You were waiting for it to stop, and it never stopped. Yeah, it it never, was. Uh, it just kept running. on going. I was like, I'm pulling this out my ass. It's working. <laughs> It is working. <laughs> Let's talk about the tour, man. You're going, you're going international. I this am. Is, this is big. You're going out in January, you're going everywhere, including South Africa. Yes, which I'm we going to your, your, your yeah, neck of the woods, South man. Africa. Johannesburg. I'm going to Cape Town. I'm going to uh, Durban. Your I'm, first time out there? Yes, this is my first time. Are you excited? I'm very excited. Touring the world, making movies. Yes, sir. With a rock star body as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's yeah. really beautiful. Have you seen my pants? <laughs> this is straight. Can you guys get this in my pants? <laughs> It's a strike. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I just started wearing these. This is so my first time. A rock star comedian <laughs> and the stripe. Yeah. Man, thank, thank you so much for thank coming. You, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you stand for. Thank I you, appreciate man. what you're doing out there. The most important thing for me, and, and, and this is one thing I wanted to ask you about before you leave, is 
Why the running? Why is that so important to you, the working out? I'm big on health, man. I, I feel like I put a major demand on my body, so I need my body to respond. But why do you make everyone run with you? Because here's what I've learned. <laughs> here's, what, here's what I've learned. I've learned that I have a platform where I can motivate and inspire. And what better way to do that than running? Running is something that everybody can do all over the world. Regardless of race, shape, and size, you can all do it together. It brings people closer together, and I've done a, a great job doing it. I mean, these runs now have gotten to a point where I got five to 7,000 people who are out running 5Ks with me, and it will get global. It, it will, will get bigger, it will get better, man. It will get global. Thank you very much.